level crossing removal project, major construction blitz, new union station open, late May 2023. Good morning stakeholders, it's Waterman. Stakeholders, it's uh, Waterman. And well there you go, that's uh, the first half hour done for um, our live event and we'll leave uh, We'll leave old Waterman outside Enric's um, crying into his uh, takeaway coffee. So, um, that, uh, the plan is we're running a little bit behind time. Um, and if the audio was, <laughs> was no good during that content presentation, I do apologise profusely. Um, it's uh, Sean McIntyre speaking, um, and uh, we got off to a late start. So, um, uh, the... Um, uh, Q&A, filmmaker q and I'm going to uh, sit here for five minutes, <laughs> I'll talk to myself uh, if, if, uh, if uh, everybody's uh, checked out, um, which is understandable if the audio is no good, but um, otherwise uh, just quickly to tell you um, a little bit about this um, mockumentary web series that um, in 2016, my local area. Um, I'm going to assume that anybody listening is not from Melbourne, Australia, and never catches a train. In 2016, um, the uh, the state government of Melbourne, that looks after local issues, um, made a decision it was going to improve um, the train network, and uh, as part of that, they decided to get rid of a lot of um, uh, level crossing boom gates where the trains would uh, slide through the traffic behind the safety of uh, boom gates um, and uh, that happened to be outside directly outside my back door and um, having the opportunity but not the equipment I decided that uh, possibly I might be able to make the most of this so the short story is as best as short as I can make it uh, I wrote a script in 2010, which uh, then became a short play, which then became a live cast script reading at an event that I created, a public script reading series at a very well-known, well-respected independent theatre, Theatre Works in St Kilda, shout out to them. And for two hours, um, uh, my scripts were read by professional actors um, that um, were good enough to... Um, uh, give me their time um, for the opportunity of performing to live audiences who listen to the script and others and the audience Q&A was uh, the key thing and I'm gonna just uh, go for five minutes here and uh, the content um, will be replayed in full um, and I will remain for an audience uh, Q&A or meet the filmmaker Q&A or just <laughs> just to chat about the weather um, between about it will now be between about nine o'clock to 9 40 local melbourne time that uh, i really appreciate um anybody uh taking an interest in the uh, live event being organized i understand things happen um, this is just an opportunity as a creative to uh, put the work out there that um just to carry on the story this story um is a i suppose what you could could call a spin-off of uh, the 10-minute the uh, play that I wrote, but the audience feedback immediately after experiencing that uh, cast reading, um, just, a, no, just a sit down reading. Uh, they had one uh, rehearsal together, just a basic read through, ask me questions as the writer. The story was based on a real live event that happened in Melbourne. Um, it's every man, woman and backstabbing bastard for themselves was the tagline and uh, I carried that uh, story forward in the form of Waterman. Waterman is a mockumentary character that I used to explain why I was walking around a live construction site that was getting rid of boom gates in my local area. And uh, I decided this character should be a consultant who likes to, um, um, uh, in, uh, uh, who likes to uh, be on site um, as a way of 
um, performing a task of building a profile uh, for his uh, construction company that's uh, somehow involved in these works. And I, um, on a very dodgy handheld camera uh, that wasn't really up to speed, but I filmed about 50 hours of footage, uh, which then during lockdowns, uh, I was going to pay somebody to do it, but um, uh, 2016 was suddenly um, uh, the middle of uh, COVID. And in 2021, I finished editing myself um, about 50 hours of footage that I cut it down um, I chopped out the best bits, the most memorable bits, the ones that made sense uh, as I riffed between the original script as a base and uh, what I was seeing in front of me and this character narrated the action and I ended up uh, being able to construct a, uh, a, a story that I was happy with um, in real time. So 17 episodes, a web series, a mockumentary web series um, most of the episodes between 10 and 11 minutes long. A documentary, mockumentary, docufiction, <laughs> documentary drama, miscellaneous genre, but really a mockumentary. And uh, I'm going to finish off here in this, uh, in this particular first session. And again, apologies for the audio um, if it uh, just didn't um, uh, meet the standards. I understand and uh, that I am practicing. And this will be the only event, online event, that I uh, publicise. There may be more um, uh, meet the filmmaker type sessions where I'm trying to get this content out. And the whole objective is to make the most of the, the exploding, accelerating, changing nature of uh, the way people consume content. Uh, Wise Words Media is a commercial uh, operation operating on a sole trader basis. Uh, it's been going 20 years. This September is the 20th anniversary for Wise Words Media. And it's an umbrella uh, brand for all the other uh, brands that sit beneath it. Calumny Films, A Fistful of Scripts. Um, lounge theatre um, and uh, various other ones, but they're the main ones. And uh, you can um, hook up with uh, Wise Words Media and Calumny Films on LinkedIn is the best spot. So I'm going to pause here and uh, going to do it all over again for another 20 minutes. Uh, Waterman is uh, champing at the bit um, <laughs> to get back out there. About uh, 15 to 20 minutes of um, content. Um, uh, the same content if you've been dipping in here and there and uh, we'll uh, see you on the other side for the second Meet the Filmmaker Q&A and this, all this entire live event will be um, uh, put together with uh, high definition audio um, together with the content that if um, you choose to come back um, the, uh, the content will be there in a higher grade format. So uh, again, thanks for dipping in. I've gone a bit over the five minutes, but that's okay. Um, and I will see you around about uh, five to 10 past nine, local time, Melbourne time, that's in about 30 minutes. So if you prefer to just come back and uh, ask a couple of questions, drop a couple of comments, negative, positive will be great, indifferent, don't want it. <laughs> It'd be great to get a reaction one way or the other. Um, and if uh, you're somebody that I connected with over the COVID period through the various film markets, or we've been connected on LinkedIn for a while, or generally if you're just dropping in and you've never ever heard of this before, all the better. So here comes uh, more Waterman, um, and uh, we will chat to you very soon. Good morning, stakeholders. It's Waterman. Now, didn't I tell you? <laughs> didn't I tell you that the Churchill Cafe was up for auction? <laughs> if you didn't believe me, you should have. Hi, right, chaps. I just wanted to make sure I stop while you're walking down because it's not fair. Oh, well, we'll oh, as long as we're looking sharp. Look well, you look sharp to me. That's no, for sure. Uh, That's those chaps, <laughs> couple of jolly fellows, but uh, they're not they're not stopping for a coffee at the Churchill Cafe today.